So today I'm wearing black. It's a Thursday and I'm participating in the campaign Thursdays in Black. This was a campaign that was started by the World Council of Churches in which people could uh, dress in black for the day, Thursday, and uh, wear a badge normally. South Africa CABSA produces these badges. This one is from the gender unit of uh, the Bayes Nodia Center at Stellenbosch University. And the intention of wearing black on a Thursday was to show solidarity for the rights of women so that women could live in a world in which they are free from the fear of violence and rape. And so each Thursday I wear black and uh, I do so in order to show that um, as a man I understand how complicit we are in the subjugation of women and the abuse of women's rights, the abuse of their bodies, the way in which women are treated in the home and in society at large, in the workplace, and uh, to show brothers and sisters that there is a different way in which we should live, particularly uh, for those of us who are Christian, uh, each one created in the image of God, woman and man. And uh, so I want to invite you, consider joining us in this particular campaign uh, on a Thursday, wear black. Uh, you might want to get yourself uh, one of these uh, pins uh, to wear on your clothes, a Thursday in black pin. Um, you can get those at thursdaysinblack.co.za or leave a, show, a comment down in the show notes and uh, I'll show you, uh, give you the details on where you can get that. But uh, join us as uh, we take a stand for the rights of women and girls in the world and recognize uh, that uh, the rights of women and girls are often subjugated and that we can do something about it. So just to remind you again, as with uh, all of these little videos, this is not a lecture, it's just a thought. And maybe just to leave you with three uh, points. With all of the issues that we seem to engage in society, whether they be economic or structural or identity or gender issues like these, for Christians, I always invite you to do three things. First of all, witness to the truth. Recognize that the ways in which women and girls are treated, and particularly the way in which religious people, often Christian people, uh, regard women and girls, that uh, the truth is that women and girls bear the image of God equally in society that uh, men and women are equal in society. So that's the first thing, witness to the truth. The second thing is to live the alternative. Um, my colleagues often uh, laugh when uh, they call me a feminist, and believe it or not, men can be feminists too. Not only uh, women are feminists. What does it mean to be a feminist? Well, in my case, it means that I recognize my own complicitness by virtue of my maleness, my masculinity, in the treatment of women and girls, and I commit myself to live in a different way, uh, to relate to my wife and daughter, to my colleagues, my friends, in, in ways that honor their dignity and uh, in which my maleness and masculinity does not uh, overpower uh, their presence in conversations, in uh, study programs that we do together, the way in which we relate to one another in the world and in the workplace. And I can tell you, in a world that is so structured towards the dominance of men. That, that takes daily consciousness. It takes, it takes a great deal of consciousness every day as a man to say, I choose to live the alternative. And then the third thing that we need to do is bind up the broken. Um, if we recognize in uh, meetings, in conversations with people, uh, in places where we live that there is inequality, that people are suffering because of that, not only should we witness to the truth, call out what is wrong, name what should be true, uh, live the alternative, but let's bind up the broken. Let's be in deep and real solidarity uh, with those who are suffering and particularly with those who are suffering most. So thanks for watching this video. I'll put a link down in the show notes to the Thursdays in Black campaign, uh, a little bit of the history of it, but also where you can order your pin if you would like to join us in this movement on Thursdays. And uh, I hope that uh, where you live and work, you may be able to do those three things. Witness to the truth, live the alternative, and bind up the broken. Thanks for watching. I'd love to hear your comments. Please share the video if you find it interesting. Uh, leave a comment on YouTube or on my Facebook page or connect with me on Twitter at Digital Dion.